Do not adjust your screen, whichever you're watching on, because I know YouTube TV is a thing. We're playing as Toad today! What's up, Manga Knights? Welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. Last time, we finished World 2, which I was not expecting to do, by the way, and made it to World 3, the mandatory ice world, which... Oh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not looking forward to. I hate ice levels. I hate the sliding physics. I hate sliding physics. Thing is, I think this game actually makes them good. Let's test that out in Snowball Park. <laughs> so, yeah. Since the Sprixy for this is blue, I decided to play as our main man, Toad. Just cause I felt like it made sense. And I have a Fire Flower ready to kill this Snow Bokey. I have no idea if that's actually what it's called, but I don't care. What I do care about... Oh! What? Wait a minute, what? Hold on, hold on. Uh, where? Where? There! There's a propeller box! I didn't know there was a propeller box in this level! Hold up! That's new information to me! Like, that's really new information to me. I had no idea that there was a propeller box here. Like, period. I had no idea. Just goes to show what happens when you don't play a game enough. You just kind of stop realizing what's possible. <laughs> Eh. Anyway, it's our, you know, same usual green star affair, but now we have ice. Woo! And a new power-up! The Tanuki Leaf! With the Tanuki Leaf, you can pull a Princess Peach and glide in the air. Oh, whoa! That Goomba went straight down. Okay. I was trying to show what the shoe they're wearing can do, but... I guess I can show it off now. It's an ice skate, allowing you to more easily traverse the ice. You don't slide around, and it's just easy breezy. You can even ride on regular surfaces, though I wouldn't recommend it. Yo, Bunny, maybe you might want to stop moving. I'm playing as the fastest character in the dang game. You really think that was going to work? No. <laughs> ah. You're supposed to use the shoe to make getting that stamp easier, but you know what? Screw it. Thank God I'm not going for the special worlds. I said I would stop. I... 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 But... but I was so... Oh, whatever. I thought I had gotten... Uh, that's another level I'll have to go back to off screen. You know, there's a toad flag in World 2 where there shouldn't be one. Purely because I went back to World 2 just so that I could... <sighs> yeah, pressing this allows you to go to the world map and... Yeah, there is a toad flag mixed with a bunch of Luigi flags. It's just... Ugh, whatever. We've got another one of these Bowser statues concealing a level, this time needing 50 green stars. Why is it that... Okay, why is it that the second level of each world is locked behind a Bowser statue now? Like, you... Anyway, uh, Chain Link Charge! This is an auto-scroller, and, uh, yeah... You would know from Shovel Knight, I'm not a major fan of auto-scrollers. Fuck it! But, it's not a vertical auto-scroller, so I'm kind of fine with it. And also, no thank you, I am not about to go pressing that block only for me to fall off and die. This is sort of really annoying, but not really, because, I mean, I'm a damn cat. This is kind of our whole thing, climbing shit. 
So this is oh, no. Oh boy. I might have to switch to the princess. The princess makes things a, a bit easier around here. But at least we get a free cat suit. Unfortunately, we also have to beat this level with the cat suit in order to keep the cat suit. Oh. Okay. Um, maybe don't get ahead of the auto scroller. Mango, do not do that. Do not be a bad girl. Just. Just sit. The fact that those are called donut blocks are kind of weird. I just why are they called donut blocks when they've got nothing to do with donuts? Ah! Oh my god, that was so close. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something over this way. And I'm gonna just use this and Toad's immeasurable speed. Booyah, baby! Toad's speed coming in clutch! Oh, I can't wait for Super Mario RPG, man. There's gonna be so many original characters we haven't seen in years! And, oh, why me? <sighs> Vertical auto-scrollers, folks. I hate them. I actually freaking hate them. That's not an exaggeration. I hate vertical auto scrollers. They suck. But this time I got every star. No misses, baby. No misses. That's right. I am a freaking boss. I... I'm still not one for auto-scrollers, but at least this one's done with. I can see why that level was locked behind a Bowser thing now. Because my god! Now, listen to Toad Meow! Listen to Toad Meow! He mews! Toad doesn't meow! He mews! That is so cute! Oh my god, that's freaking adorable! As if I didn't already like Toad enough! I mean, my god, you're gonna give me a heart attack with all that cuteness, Toad! Those casinos are just kind of stupid, so I'm not going to be going in them. But what I am going to be going into is Shifty Poo Mansion! This? Well... <laughs> it's a ghost house! And ghost house? Go, go, ghost house? Oh, I don't hate them. I actually kind of like ghost house! I like ghost houses! When they're not... When the inhabitants aren't trying to kill me. Anyway, these are boos. Standard Mario affair. You look at them, they stop moving. You turn away, they immediately chase the fuck out of you. Can't be killed by anything other than a star. Makes them kind of annoying to tackle. Especially if you get backed into a corner. Actually, no. Getting backed into a corner is actually a good thing when fighting a boo. Just, it is. Most sofas you see in these levels are going to move. And that kind of means you already know what to look for, don't you? Don't trust your eyes with a ghost house. Anything can happen. And I mean anything. Like question mark blocks being platforms this time around. Or bookcases being pushed back to reveal a star 
hidden in the bookshelf. Don't trust your eyes, folks. Don't trust your eyes. With a ghost house, there could be anything hidden anywhere. You don't know what's lurking in the crevices. Stairs could move and make it so that you can't go up them very easily. Ghosts could appear literally anywhere. You could be shown that there is a one-up mushroom by going in that mirror. And by not walking on that staircase, you just kind of don't give it any power. And you can't even trust pipes. Something that looks like one thing can end up being something completely different. And that... That's scary. Because, and I hate to quote a racist, as in H.P. Lovecraft, but the oldest emotion of mankind is fear. And the oldest type of fear is the fear of the unknown. And, oh, God, wait a minute, that's right, the, that, that's a, a fake out, I think. I think there's a fake out somewhere around here. Please, let there just be a fake out. I know I'm not done with this level. Please tell me. I hate missing green stars, and I already missed the first one, so I'd like to get the last one, if you please. If I remember correctly, you need to ride this sofa to get to it. Because this sofa takes you up here to a fake green pipe, might I add, which turns into the star. Ghosts, man. You can't ever trust them. And when you do trust them, they take your money and fake you out. Like I said, don't trust your eyes. And I'm gonna have to come back and get a golden flag. Damn! <laughs> Ooze actually happened to be one of my favorite Mario enemies, and that's kind of primarily because I like ghosts. Like, that's just something I like. I don't really understand why, I just really like ghosts. Now then, let's go from one toad to another. Captain Toad makes a splash! Weird, right? This is a water level with a character that can't jump. Oh boy! <laughs> These guys right here, if I remember correctly, are called Rammerheads. But let me check my notes just to be sure because I have a notebook over here filled with enemy names. This should be able to tell me if an enemy name I have is correct or not. And yeah, I was right. They're called Rammerheads. And yeah, that's kind of stupid. I'm sorry to say, but the, the entire reason why I wanted to do this was not for the levels, was not for the characters. It's for the goofy ass enemies. Like, Rammerhead? Nintendo, what frickin' drugs are you on to come up with the name Rammerhead? I mean, it's literally just the word Hammerhead, but weird. Captain Toad levels are kind of strange, especially to try and record because of how far out the camera is and how far the camera always is. I'm sorry to say, but it's just kind of weird. Anyway, we've got a few things we can't seem to be able to do. And that's because we need to find a way to drop onto that pipe. If we can drop onto it, 
then we can get into it. The question is, how do you do that when you don't even change directions in the water? I don't know. I, I actually don't know. Captain Toad levels have really strange solutions. Solutions that I honestly have no idea. Like, I'm, I'm actually clueless. I'm clueless and I'm dumb. Oh, oh, you fucking idiot. Let, let me show you what I'm talking about in case you're an idiot like me. There was an entire section I was missing because I didn't think to turn the camera that way. I've been going top down mostly this entire level. And what good has it gotten me? Um, nothing. But now we have a button. A button that raises the water level and allows us to move forward. And now we have to worry about the rammer head being literally face to face with us which is creepy, but not impossible. We've gotten all of our green stars and Captain Toad can go and fuck off. Yeah, I don't really like him. I'm sorry, Captain. Thank you for the green stars, but you're not really my favorite. You are like my least favorite Toad, and I am so sorry, but it's true. I mean, do you know how many times Captain Toad has been incompetent too many. Oh my god. Oh. Ever heard of a speed run? How about a forced speed run with Pretty Plaza Panic? Our first timed level. No, not our first timed level. But our first level that gives us less time. We have to rush through. And the problem is, this level also introduces character buttons. We're gonna have to come back here with Princess Peach in order to get a green star. Hell, I'm not going for the green stars this round because I wanna come back here as Princess Peach off screen. Levels that have buttons like this, I'm not going to be worried about getting every green star. Because it doesn't make any sense to worry about something that's not gonna come too soon. Anyway, we've got Kamek blocking our path. Oh wait, that's right, Kamek is no more. All we've got are Magic Koopas. Specifically, a Magic Koopa blockade. Magic Koopas, very annoying, like before, but we've seen them in the Circus Scramble level. They are easily taken out and are nothing. Now, if they were anything like that one Koopa mage in Super Mario Galaxy, then I'd be scared. Because at least that one is competent. Now get out of my way. I love the fact that the wand just dinks him on the head. Oh my god, how did it get... Okay, actually explain this to me. How did it take until five levels into World 3 to get a water level? Pipeline Lagoon! <laughs> Guess what these guys are called? Beach Goombas. Yep. Beach Goombas. That's just kind of stupid. And over there, trying not very hard to disguise himself, is a coin coffer. These things are amazing because they spit out coins. Something I like about them, though, is it doesn't actually show that you've killed them. They don't poof into smoke like the other enemies do. They disappear. As in, it just goes invisible and then goes back into hiding. Anyway, why the hell is there a water level in the ice world? An 
And actually, speaking of, we've only had one ice level in this entire world. Which is just kind of... stupid. Well, at least with the water level we have cheap Chiefs. Yeah, th this was the world that Rammerheads were going... Like, this is the level that Rammerheads are supposed to be found in. But, uh, here we got some freaking. I forget what they're called. I think they're Porky Puffers? That's right, yeah, these things are called Porky Puffers. And they suck. Like, no, they are killable. That's not why they suck. The reason why they suck? There is a level in which if you... Tr There's a level in Super Mario 3D Land that is impossible to do without collecting even a single coin. Now, look at this. This background is beautiful. And you only see it right there. Now, despite my fear of deep water, which, yes, that was giving me the heebie-jeebies the entire time, I also thought it was absolutely beautiful. And of course, the first time I ever saw it, I jumped so hard that I swear I was going to turn into Mario himself. I'm not a fan of deep water. It's fine with water levels like this. Where it's not fine is when a game that has a cutesy art style like this goes realistic for a split second. Like with Paper Mario. Specifically the Origami King and its stupid Diamond Island. I do not like the Diamond Island because why the hell is the water so goddamn realistic? It should not be as realistic as it is, but it is, and I hate that it is. Because it shouldn't. The water should not be that realistic. In a game like this, it should not be. It's just, uh, I, just I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like games that suddenly take on a realistic art style when you go deep under the waves. And that's exactly what the that's exactly what Paper Mario Origami King did. That's exactly what it did to me. And uh wait a minute, what the what wait, what what? Uh I'm gonna just go back under here. Oh, oh, that's right! There's a hidden pipe that takes us up here, which not only gives us our last star, but also allows us to get to the top of the flagpole. And of course, we have another beach Goomba, which... I, I don't know what makes them any different other than the fact that they're in it. Oh, there's the coin coffer again! There was a, there was a coin coffer right in that corner. That is freaking cool. <laughs> wow. So, I am very much correct with what I said last time. There are too many levels to do in a single sitting. And honestly, I'm kind of happy about that. Now, 3-7 is right here. But, why the hell is 3-6 over here? Well, because in Mount Must Dash, it's a Mario Kart reference! It, no, actually, this is a reference to Mario Kart, the original Mario Kart, might I add. This is a reference to that. And thus, it's not a very fast level. It's not meant to be played as part of the main story. It's meant to be played out of the way. 
and I like that. It's a nice throwaway level that doesn't contribute anything to the story, and yes, I know I'm missing a lot of green stars, I'll come back for them at some point. Oh, wow, but I end up getting the stamp? Oh, rookie numbers, right? No, not rookie numbers. I don't care if I miss the green stars here, because I have enough for Bowser's castle. I don't need to worry about that shit. Like some people think I do. Because at this point, we have plenty of green stars. We're not going to be running out anytime soon. I mean, ooh, now that I've said that, I might have just changed myself. You know what? Let's, let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. I won't do the actual castle this time around, but I will at least do this. 3-7 Switchboard Falls. Where's it falling to? <laughs> okay. There is another enemy on my list in here, and I believe... Oh god, what are you, what are you, what is your name? What, oh god, I gotta look this up, hold on, I gotta look at my notes. What is your name? What is your name? You have a name, it is very stupid, and so I wrote it down so I could laugh at you. Where are you? Fizzlets! I knew that off the top of my head! Stop get, hmm. I always second guess myself. Anyway, these are fizzlets. When they're like this, all yellow and shit, you can't touch them. But they're perfectly harmless when they're not. Perfectly harmless. Little buggers can't even do anything to you, as opposed to the big buggers. They're also, well, okay, I thought that they were invulnerable when they were spewing out electricity, but I, I guess not. Okay, then. These are switchboards, by the way, like the entire reason this level is called Switchboard Falls. It's got switchboards and this level is a waterfall. What a, you know, there is no better combination. I don't know the names of these guys and I never actually found them. Like, I never saw what these guys' names were and I looked through the Mario Wiki I looked through the 3D World Wiki, and I didn't see what these guys' names were. But, they're cute. Oh shit. Oh god, move, move, toad, gotta move, gotta move. We've literally got a giant angry caterpillar on our ass. Whew. Oh my god. This is actually scary sometimes, okay. The best thing to do would be to take the Tanuki Leaf so that you can more easily maneuver, collect almost every coin on your way down. I say almost because, yeah, th there was no chance. Now then, give me that green star! What? I'm not, I'm not opposed to a little bit of cheesing. Now, cheating is the thing I'm opposed to. Uh, unless it's a cheat code in the Lego game, in which case, go ahead, because who the hell has the time to get, like, every single Stan Lee cameo in a level just to unlock Stan Lee? Um, me. I, I've literally done that. I am guilty of my own crimes! I can't help it, though! When you give me a cameo character like that, I'm gonna go for them. No matter what I think of how stupid that shit is. Anyway, going behind the waterfall like we're, um, s some game that has you going behind a waterfall. I, I don't know. I actually don't. I, I actually don't know. This, uh, uh, un, 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 like a fucking purple cliffs chat. Un, un, un. Oh my god, what the fuck am I supposed to get? There we go, there we go, took them out, that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing, we're trying to take out these little freaking boss wigglers. Oh my god! Wait, do I? Have I? Did I 
miss like everything. I'm pretty sure I literally missed like every single. I missed most of the green stars. Let's hope this level. Let's hope this castle needs like. How many do I have? Like 60? Because like I was barely able to. Yeah, I have 65 green stars. I really hope that's enough. Because if that's not enough, then we're gonna be kind of screwed. What is with these levels and not being locked by green stars? Okay, I, I think I get it. I, I actually think I get it now. The levels that have those the statues down here that was locking World 3-2 out to us, I think if there's one of those, then the castle isn't locked, I guess. Anyway, we've beaten the entirety of World 3 other than the castle, which is not a castle, it's a, it, it, it's a train. Next time on on Super Mario 3D World, we go to 3-Train. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's not 3-Castle, it's not 3-Tank, it's 3-Train. It's <laughs>